What's up, my brother? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got our boy Barracks down here in the bottom left hand corner, Hero in the bottom right. And we're going to be taking a little look see at this game that was on the seawall.gg Discord. Been finding a lot of great gems on there lately. And. That's mostly thanks to a guy named Dude Nerd, so shout out to him. We've got Hero here. Gonna start with a pool first. Now, you don't usually see it. Hero, kind of surprising to have him go for a pool first here. And this is a pool without Overlord, so he's gonna go ahead and cancel the gas to get out a 10th drone. Let's see if he scouts with this. I don't know if he knows that this is Barracks, but maybe he's played uh, against this account before and knows that it's someone who does eight racks or maybe he just looks at that kind of barcode like name and thinks, well, this guy's probably going to eight racks me, but not the case, not the case here. It's going to be a gas build out of Barracks and this is not going to be too good for Hero. You know, if you slow down your natural a lot, one of the big consequences of that is that your sunken colony is going to be very, very late out in the front. Makes it really tough, really, really tough to hold off that early vulture. It's going to arrive really, really quickly. You want to be throwing down your sunken colony at around 320 to 330 depending on the rush distance. He's pumped out quite a few links here. Six links are gonna come out. Go ahead, go ahead. Gonna go ahead and get that gas, excuse me guys. And with that, he's gonna go into some hyper aggressive build, but let's see what kind of damage these links can do because there's nothing here for barracks. There is nothing here. He's gonna go and try to hit this overlord and the links are gonna come in as soon as he sees those links, his heart is just going to sink here. He's going to wish that he had something on that ramp to block, some SCVs to block that. Uh, he does get a pretty good surround here with the SCVs. He hasn't even lost one yet. Okay, I heard one go down. Um, one SCV's gone down, and I think we've killed like seven of the eight links that were made. That is craziness. Two Marines and one SCV for like seven, eight links? I'm blown away. That is that is wild. I think Hero making a really big mistake there by not trying to run around a bit more and target down SCVs, rather kind of letting them fight and letting them chase the Marines and thinking that he was just going to trade well regardless of what he did. And it's not the case. You really do need to be careful with those first few links. And now he's... Uh, Going to be forced to build a sunken colony and additional links. So he built two more links. And the sunken colony is going to come. He cancels the... Cancels the layer. Uh, okay. Hydroden. Going to come down here. Maybe he's thinking there's no way that if a wraith comes, I'm going to be able to deal with it. I have to get this Hydroden. I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm just surprised that he even went for the layer if he wasn't going to follow up with it. Now the vulture makes its way behind the mineral patches. Dude, this is so bad for Hero. <laughs> oh my gosh. He has the Hydroden done, so he can make like two Hydras go kill this. Yeah, he goes for speed. What are we doing? Hero. Gonna go for speed here. Speed on Hydra. I think he's just gonna attack you guys. Generally, if you think that there's going to be um, Wraith, you wanna go range first. Nice pickup on that Vulture. Range is much, much better if your opponent goes for something like two port wraith. Um, but he's going to go speed and he's just going to attack. Now, if there's a bunker at the top of the ramp, I think as Terran, we just lose or we just win. Uh, and Zerg will just lose straight up. But um, we'll see if that bunker starts because I don't see it just yet. I'm going to go ahead and micro against these speed links, but he has no idea that the Hydras are on the way right now. Uh, the Hydras are going to arrive here really, really fast. As the Wraith flies in, he sees the Hydra dead. How long will it take to get an SCV to the ramp to start building that barracks? It look or that bunker. He's sending. He's sending it now. No, no, that's not an. That's not a bunker. That is not what we need right now. We do not need a second barracks. We actually need a bunker. Um, he's going to pull the SCVs to the ramp. 
Where is the bunker? All right, no bunker. Still no bunker. What? All we need is a bunker here, Barracks. What are you doing? I mean, we got 300 minerals. Are we saving it up for a CC or something? I'm not sure. But uh, all that he's doing right now is building hydras. Just building hydras. The Wraith has no kills. Pure hydraless production. Now, finally switching over into drones and a lair. Trying to run up this ramp right now, but it's not going to happen. Wraith, pretty low. Does get sent home. Did it actually get a kill on the Overlord? No. Not even the Overlord ends up going down here. So, a pretty... Uh, ineffective wraith and he got the control tower here so maybe he was thinking i don't know what he was thinking maybe a drop ship after try to get the vultures into the main um i'm not 100 percent on that we've got the hydras now heading back home he's looking out for that wraith to fly back in but uh we've just got plus one here on the way and a full uh, switch back into Marines. Are we going to see a Valkyrie? Maybe? Because we probably will get Mutas. Really needs to lift this barracks and actually set it over to the side so he can get a commsat station and figure out what his opponent is doing. I guess with the Wraith, you can scout everything unless the Hydras are set up like this, in which case flying through is going to be a death sentence. Let's see if he gets in. Okay, he does get in. He does see the Spire. This is big information here right now for our man Barracks. Can he pull this one off? Hero. Getting into those mutas. Sees the marine tank moving out on the map. Lurker upgrade starts. Interesting choice to get that lurker upgrade right now. It's going to pull away drones that are being targeted by this Wraith. While bringing the Hydras up to fight. Can he get it? No. Not able to get it. Hydras without range here. Very ineffective. <laughs> not very effective against basically anything. Siege mode is not done yet. So we have a little time here. Um, so we can get some Mutas out, right? Mutas should be on the way. Are we not going to get Mutas? He's supply blocked. Did he lose a Wraith? Did he lose a... No, he hasn't even gotten a kill with that Wraith. What the hell? How did he get supply blocked here? I'm so confused. No kill with the Wraith. No overlords have died. Oh, it's gonna get the tank. He gets the tank. One tank dead. That's huge. That's gonna slow things down by a lot. Although the second tank does arrive. Seven mutas on the way here. This is going to be a nail biter of a hold if Hero manages to pull it off. Extra sunkets coming up in the back. We've got the sunken up to the top side here as well. Uh, that's going to help out if the Marines just pull the trigger. But they will get taken out by the tank here shortly thereafter. Let's see. Is there another tank on the way? Could be useful to get around behind this and actually start to take out um, Marines and tanks that are being rallied across the map. This is a very tight Marine ball, but they do not have range. There's the range coming in right now. So he does get that range. Lurker upgrade is done, but he's not making any Lurkers at the moment. Just one sunken colony being made, and he's just going to stand here and wait for the tanks to start to hit this hatchery. Okay, unseaging everything. He's actually going to start to move forward here, getting up in range of the other sunken colonies. The Marines doing some good damage. Let's take a look at the health on the Mutas. Only seven of them here so far, and the hatchery is going down. Hero has to pull the trigger here soon. He hasn't made even one lurker yet. I thought he upgraded that. Did he not? Did he cancel the upgrade to get more Mutas out? I'm not sure. I thought that he was going to build that. They're kind of useless in this situation, honestly. Running up with uh, Lurkers is very, very difficult. Uh, just against Marines, but with tanks mixed in, it's a no whole other story. We've got one Irradiate ready, and Irradiate is done. Here it comes. The Irradiate's going to come out. Oh, but he Irradiated a low HP Muta. So the Irradiated Muta dies instantly. Can he overwhelm this position? He's getting very, very close here. Very close to overwhelming it. He almost gets the uh, Medic. One lucky bounce will kill that Medic. Okay, he's gonna dive on top of this now. He does get on top of everything. Go after the Science Vessel. Yes, he is gonna go after the Science Vessel. He's picking it off. Science Vessel will not make it back home. It will not get a second Irradiate. And now the Mutas are out on the map. He's just gonna start clearing out these Marines everywhere and picking off the tanks as they try to retreat back home. Three 
Mutas remain here, but that's enough to kill both these tanks. Can he get the kills he needs though? Get the kills. Okay, going after the Marines here is a good choice. Finish those off, then go for the tanks. They're trying to make a beeline northward here, but they will get picked in the end. One uh, Overlord in the middle of the map. Kind of hilarious. We've got a sunken colony here, so it can't technically run by, I think. Loses, loses that Overlord. Oh, if he can catch this, he's gonna get the second, the vessel, the second vessel. It just came out. It doesn't get the Irradiate down, that's huge. Two vessels go down, that's massive, massive damage for Hero. Still pretty good on the minerals here is Barracks. This is gonna be a tight, tight game, guys. I don't know who's gonna win. I would say that it's uh, Barracks, definitely Bar Barracks favored after that natural went down. But this is still a really, really crazy game. Ligs are gonna run in. Mutas are gonna be hitting all these Marines, but it's not enough. He can't take over this area. He can't start to pressure the barracks. The science vessel here is gonna have that energy soon. And man, Hero is making a really good game out of this, despite being in a super bad position, despite having nearly everything go wrong in the early game. You know, he just got completely uh, slapped around by barracks in that early game The tank push was fantastic the Marines holding on the ramp just perfect amounts of each unit But barracks is still not out of the water yet. He's gonna pull back the scourge Can he get the scourge in with the he's gonna try and bait this he's just trying to bait the irradiate here He doesn't want to take damage uh, From the irradiate on the scourge. So he's pulled the scourge out for now I'm gonna go ahead, keep dancing here. Not gonna get the Irradiate out of this vessel though. That's unfortunate. He would like to get, force that Irradiate out so that he can bring the Scourge back into the group and try to snipe this. Not able to get that just yet. We've got Hydras out in the middle of the map. I don't know what they're doing there. He started the Lurker upgrade again. So he actually canceled the Lurker upgrade. That is wild. Great split there. It was completely prepared from Hero. You know, he was baiting that out the entire time. Can you get this? Oh, it's right there. Oh my gosh. That vessel was so out of position there for a moment. He actually could have sniped it. Second vessel here. If he snipes this vessel, that would be a massive. Gets the irradiate down. Oh no, try to pull it out. The scourge all died. That's what he was trying to avoid earlier by pulling out the scourge and not mixing them in for that last, uh, that last engagement. Now he's gonna go out and build a bunch of lurkers. He started plus one armor. Dude, can Hero actually do something here? There's so many Marines. There's a couple of tanks and two vessels. My heart says no. Well, my brain says no, but my heart says yes. Let's see what he can do. Hero. Pouring out Lings right now. Barracks. In a fantastic position against one of the greatest Zerg players of all time. His heart has to be thumping right now. Knowing that he should absolutely be able to take this game. But whether he can or not is a completely different story. Four lurkers in the middle of fifth about to come in here. Scourge and Mutas waiting for the prime opportunity to dive upon these science vessels. The two science vessels, the four Scourge. Ready and waiting for them. Lurkers are gonna run around the backside. Try to hit the flank right now. Big siege up here, but he can just unburrow and run forward. Oh, the double barracks in the natural. Ready for that counterattack. Barracks holding everything off perfectly. Will resume this attack across the map now with the three tanks. What does Hero have? He's got no hive. And really, how could he, with all the damage that's been done this game by Barracks, would be crazy to see him have a hive at this point. Now, maybe if the, as the Marines were moving in this way, he could have hit from this angle, he might have been able to do something. But now that the Marines are tucked in here and in a good position, how are you ever gonna flank this successfully as Hero? He's gonna try right here, right now. Great split on the Scourge. He's gonna run right up. The Marines actually kind of get in the way of everything though, blocking the Lurkers from getting the uh, good surface area, getting close enough 
to hit all of the Marines and GG is called. Barracks takes down Hero, dude. What a game that we just witnessed. Fantastic from both sides. These are some of my favorite games to cast are the ones that are so scrappy and dirty uh, with lots of early game damage on both sides and big flips back and forth. I love to see it. Guys, this was a pleasure to cast. Thank you for being here with me. This has been your Daily Dose of Brood War, and I'll see you tomorrow.